In the most dangerous situation you can imagine, they're there. December 1971, I was teaching my church for the very first time about the reality of angels and demons and what lies ahead. The topic on this Wednesday night was how Jesus dealt with demons, and the church was comfortably full. There was a woman on the front row. Her name was Virginia Vandegrift. She had a little tape recorder in her lap. And let me tell you, then those little Japanese tape recorders were the way the gospel was getting around the world. Little did she know she was about to record a church shooting. I had been speaking for about 12 minutes when suddenly a man in his mid-twenties burst through the front doors with a gun in his hand. He walked up the aisle down the wall. He put the gun to the head of one of our congregants. He roared like a wild animal. And he began screaming obscenities at the church. Some of the church members immediately knelt and began to fervently pray, rebuking and binding him in the name of Jesus. I have to tell you that some of the most muscular men in my church were crawling down the aisle like a duck headed for the door. I won't go any further than that. The women were praying. Many of the members thought that they were witnessing a staged, illustrated sermon because some of the things he did, I had talked about out of the Bible. As the gun-toting person approached the platform, he commanded the hostage to come and stand beside me. The church member instantly obeyed. We stood there shoulder to shoulder behind the pulpit, staring point blank at about eight to 10 feet at the shooter. You could see the copper jackets of the bullets inside that revolver. He said, I've come to kill you to demonstrate Satan's power, that Satan has more power than Jesus Christ. I want you to get on your knees and beg for your life. He was screaming at us. I held up the Bible and I said, this book says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. He screamed, I have a gun. I said, I have a Bible. Even though I believed he was going to shoot, I was never more calm. I was never more confident. I knew that the guardian angels of God were there and that Satan's kingdom was going to be defeated, that the fight was on, and I knew we were going to win. This demonized person said, I'm going to kill you on the count of three. He counted to two, he lied, and started shooting. (laughs) From a distance of eight to ten feet, a child could hit you with a gun. Miraculously, every shot missed. The miracle was not by chance. It was the power of Almighty God in action. And I thank God for his supernatural protection every day. For without that, I would not be alive. He will give his angels charge over you to protect you in all of your ways. Give the Lord praise in the house of God. In all of the years that I've had this recording, I've only played it publicly one time. I'm going to do it now because many of you have grown up in this church and never heard the story. The first sound you're going to hear is the sound of the man screaming. Roll the tape. These are the women praying against the man. They're walking up the aisle. The gun is out. He's on the platform and we're now talking. He's getting ready to shoot. He will give his angels charge over you to protect you in all of your ways. 